We might be used to seeing motorcycles with V-twin, V6, or even V10 engines with unique and interesting designs, or perhaps diesel-based engines that offer outstanding fuel efficiency. However, all of that seems ordinary compared to John Levy's innovation of incorporating an aircraft radial engine into a chopper motorcycle, creating something truly different and stunning. In fact, aircraft radial engines were previously used by Magola in the early 1920s to create a unique motorcycle known as the Magola motorcycle. This motorcycle featured an air-cooled radial engine mounted on the front wheel, making it one of the most innovative designs of its time. The uniqueness and brilliance of Magola's design showcased the great potential of radial engines in the motorcycle world, which was later revived by John Levy's modern innovation. <laughs> John Levy himself is an aircraft mechanic, flight instructor, fabricator, and custom wheelchair designer. One day, he had a strong desire to build a motorcycle with a radial engine. According to him, radial engines have great potential to provide power and uniqueness never before seen in motorcycles. He saw that radial engines, with cylinders radiating from the center of the crankcase, have efficient cooling characteristics and remarkable power generation capabilities. With his background as an aircraft mechanic, Levy was challenged to realize this dream and demonstrate that radial engine technology could be adapted for land vehicles. Levy then began designing and building the first radial motorcycle with his team at JRL Cycles, combining his aviation and automotive expertise. The challenge that arose when Levy designed this vehicle was how the frame could accommodate the radial engine, knowing that radial engines require a large space. The size of the radial engine, like that of the Cessna 195 aircraft, is quite large with a diameter of about 42 inches. The Cessna's radial engine dimensions are much larger compared to regular motorcycle engines, making it impossible to fit onto a two-wheeler. Hope emerged when Levy found a compact radial engine alternative, the Rotec R2800 developed by Rotec Aerosport from Australia. This radial engine has a capacity of 2,800 cubic centimeters, with a more compact size and dimensions more suitable for motorcycles, but still capable of providing impressive performance with 110 horsepower and 160 pound-feet of torque. With its compact size, the Rotec R2800 allows Levy to design a motorcycle frame that can house the engine without compromising stability and strength. With the engine diameter reaching about 31.9 inches, the most efficient position is with a transverse system. The transverse system allows the engine to be mounted crosswise, in line with the rear wheel of the motorcycle. This not only facilitates the power transfer from the engine to the rear wheel without making many turns, but also enables a more normal riding position and ergonomic front-end control. Moreover, the transverse layout helps maintain the motorcycle's balance and stability, ensuring that the large engine is well distributed and does not disrupt maneuverability. Levy and his team at JRL Cycles utilize this layout to create a radial motorcycle that not only functions well, but also looks extraordinary. The next challenge was the drive system, where Levy had to find a way to transfer power from the radial engine to the motorcycle's rear wheel. Since the radial engine was initially designed for aircraft, its drive system had to be adapted to meet motorcycle needs. One solution found by the JRL Cycles team was to create an adapter plate where the propeller bearings used to be and reduce the reduction gear weight by 30 to 40 pounds from the engine. The engine output was then directed to a pulley which drove an extra long belt. The primary drive belt of this motorcycle is more than six inches longer than the primary drive found on Harley Davidson's, allowing efficient power transfer from the engine to the rear wheel. Moreover, the gears in the six-speed transmission are arranged in such a way that the motorcycle can reach high speeds quickly. The engine was then equipped with a six-speed gearbox, where even in first gear, it could reach 50 miles per hour. This certainly provides incredible acceleration and shows the immense power of the radial engine. With the capability to reach 50 miles per hour just in first gear, this motorcycle can deliver an exhilarating and unforgettable riding experience. Every gear change 
offers a consistent power surge, allowing riders to feel the same thrill as piloting an aircraft. Furthermore, with the gears arranged in such a way, the motorcycle can reach 100 miles per hour quickly, similar to a Spitfire fighter jet speeding through the air. Although the sixth gear may rarely be used, the engine's ability to reach high speeds easily highlights the exceptional performance of this motorcycle. Typically, motorcycles use one spark plug per cylinder, but the radial engine used by Levy has a unique feature. This engine is equipped with a dual ignition system, so each cylinder has two spark plugs. The dual ignition system was initially designed for aviation purposes, ensuring safety and reliability in aircraft engines. With two spark plugs per cylinder, the radial engine can deliver more consistent performance and reduce the risk of ignition failure. Moreover, the radial engine is known for its high oil consumption due to its unique design and greater cooling needs. Nevertheless, Levy and his team successfully addressed this challenge through proper placement and design, ensuring the engine operates optimally without sacrificing motorcycle performance. Once the engine was completed, Levy then mounted the seven-piston radial engine into the chopper motorcycle design he created with his team. He named the vehicle Lucky 7, symbolizing luck and referring to the seven cylinders in the radial engine. This name not only reflects the power and uniqueness of the engine, but also signifies the innovative work of Levy and his team. Lucky 7 became an icon in the custom motorcycle world, attracting the attention of motorcycle and technology enthusiasts worldwide. Since the seven-cylinder radial engine consumes a lot of fuel, around 5.8 gallons per hour at 75% power, the chopper's fuel tank also had to be adjusted. Levy installed a 2.5-gallon fuel tank on Lucky 7. Although this tank is relatively small, the engine can still operate for about an hour under normal use. This aligns with the character of this motorcycle, which is designed more for performance and exhibition rather than long-distance travel. Once the first radial engine chopper was successful, Levy was invited to showcase his work at various prestigious motorcycle shows and aviation events. One of the most famous events is EAA Air Venture Oshkosh, where his Lucky 7 motorcycle drew much attention. Motorcycle and aviation technology enthusiasts were highly intrigued by this remarkable innovation, appreciating the unique combination of aircraft engine power and elegant motorcycle design. According to the official JRL Cycles website, Five units of the Lucky 7 have already been sold. Although the initial target was to produce more than 50 units, the high cost and complexity of its production have kept the numbers limited. However, in his social media postings, Levy showcased the Rotec R3600 engine with nine cylinders, a capacity of 3,600 cubic centimeters, and a power output of 150 horsepower. Will this engine be used for another project developing a nine-cylinder radial engine motorcycle? We'll have to wait and see.